greetings and salutations in today's episode of the Tim of Borg Show. Very little on this sector is known to us or our allies. We have recently established contact with the sector's most prominent inhabitants, the First Federation. They are somewhat enigmatic, but encouraging, especially where Tranya is concerned. Right, uh, we're going to do another mission run-through of the current mission, Mirrors and Smoke. While searching for signs of weaponized protomatter, one of our long-distance research probes made a most curious discovery. It found a Class M planet at the heart of the Gonkra Nebula. That's not the most exciting news, however. The probe detected the presence of sentient life on the planet. The biosigns were very similar to our own. It is possible that we have discovered a lost tribe of Lucari. We're going to investigate and we'd like some backup. The probe went offline rather suddenly after detecting the planet. These people might not be very friendly. All right, we'll accept that. And today's week three rewards, so could be getting personal shield. Oh, there's a missile launcher. Missiles, mass produce, listen. Weird. Okie dokie, accept. We better set that as the primary mission and then auto navigate. Okay, so this is the Klingon run with my Robin Orion Klingon guy. I'll just quickly do some upgrades. I think uh, upgrade weekend started. That doesn't really look like I got any bonus. Maybe it doesn't start yet. You know, time zones. It is a Friday for me in Australia. Nope, not enough. That sucked. What's that? Science can I upgrade my science thing. Sorry about this. Just a quick interlude. I should have done this before starting the recording. Obviously, I do apologize. Now that's gone screwed up. Don't think that's what was supposed to be there. Where was the temporal button? There's a temporal button. Hmm. Sign, rating, party, buff, sector, space, travel speed. What? Uh, crystalline. <laughs> Temporal threading. That's what I had there. I knew it. Because of that upgrading time wasted thing. Sorry about that. I do apologize. Let's get on with the Klingon run through. Uh, and I'm doing this because it is easier than making a Starship review, which is a lot of effort. Uh, so sorry about putting off my Starship reviews. Anyway, let's begin. Mirrors and smoke. I'm reading a group of starships out there. They're armed, shielded, and combat capable. Let's hope they're not hostile as well. As the ranking officer here, I believe you should be the first to initiate contact. Thank you. Open hailing frequencies, comms. Kapla. Full impulse. Today is a good day to die. <laughs> might respond more favorably to a familiar face. May I open a channel? It's worth a shot. Proceed. Unidentified vessels. This is Captain Kumarke of the LSS Rescava. I extend cordial greetings in the interest of establishing peaceful contact between us. Still quiet. Is the Universal Translator online? I'm not certain. Wait. They're locking weapons. Uh, yeah, and I just remembered. Graphics to maximum. Another thing I forgot to do. That's, I've been playing it at 50% lately with lighting 2.0 on manually, as you just saw. But now I'm putting to 
and details are on 200%. Frames on 30, but that's because I'm recording at 30, so there's no point doing 60. All right, red alert, fire to disable. Today is a good day to stay alive. I don't understand. The rest carver did nothing to provoke this attack. He's being disabled. Fire. Fire at real racker. Alien vessels. This is Prime Minister Tulaman of the Kentari Union. I've ordered our forces to cease hostilities and ask you to do the same. This is Dalai Master Orion of the IKS. Gork. Explain yourself, Prime Minister. There's been a grave misunderstanding. It is customary for us to discuss such grievances in person. Will you accept my invitation to parlay? What does parlay mean? Yes, I guess I'll come down and dance with you. That's what parlay sounds like dancing, isn't it? I don't know. What is it? Oh, it's not in my vocabulary. Universal Translator, get the Oxford Dictionary. Send us meeting site coordinates. Orion, out. Incredible. The Kentari devastated the homeworld we once shared long ago. We thought they were extinct. We should proceed with caution. Historically, the Kentari were quick to distrust and attack. Despite that, I'm ready to transport when you are. Okay. Away team to transport room run. Why am I using Neil? I don't know. Hmm. Well, I guess. I'm gonna have to check their equipment. I think I must have dismissed somebody. By the 14 sacred trees of Lucar. The Kentari destroyed one world with their toxic ways, and it seems they're well on their way to destroy another. Unbelievable. This Prime Minister has much to answer for. Where is she, by the way? And why are we meeting on the street? Hmm. Okay, so I'll fix that, I guess. I'm wondering that myself. That Kentari on the street looks quite ill. Hmm. Now what's going on? Head towards capital. Building. Reading high levels of toxic chemical emissions in the area. Now where was that vent again? Is it over here? Mm. Nothing lighting up. They what? still use unregulated exhaust systems? Unbelievable. How peculiar. The doors here have built-in filtration systems. Might as well use my EV suit if it's all toxic then. Enemy well, that doesn't make sense. How can I be hurt by the toxicity if I've got an EV suit on? Like, um, it works in space, so it obviously has to keep out the outside environment. Bloody stupid. The developers really should think about things like this. Now, what's going on? Scan door? What door? Oh, great. All the way back. I missed it. How stupid. Oh, look. They've got air filters on the door. Is it that one? No. How about looking at the mini-map? Oh, shut up. Over there. Right. At least that one's lit up. Examine door. What's that machine off to the side? Some sort of miniature store? Vending machine, we call them. It's full of breathing aids. 
people poison the air here and charge others to withstand it. Look off to you. I've never seen this level of suffering. Mm. Oh, they pile the refuse in the streets. There are still heat signatures on this junk. It was placed here recently. Kill the Lucari and her alien lackeys. Enemy target See hatred for Lucari still burns in the hearts of some Kentari, along with violent xenophobia. Hopefully their leadership is of a more diplomatic nature. The Capitol building is a short distance today. from here. After the team's victory over the North Capitol forgers, Lynn celebrated Even by here, the poor huddled in misery. What? Another attack? Enemy you shouldn't have come here, Lucari. Now you're gonna die! Is that the last of them? Let's go inside. The Kantori have some explaining to do. We haven't killed them all yet. That was a bit premature. Into the capital building. How do we do that then? I forgot. What do we do? Is there somewhere I have to go? Oh, that's right up here, right? Yeah. Little doors. That's a bit weird, isn't it? This is a far cry from the smog and squalor we just left, isn't it? Welcome to New Kentar. I must apologize for the unfortunate incidents that have taken place. You have arrived during a period of social unrest for our people. This would explain the repeated attacks. Kapla! I'm afraid so. The decline of our world has split the Kentari into two factions. The reformists, like myself, who wish to gradually change our way of life for the better. And the traditionalists, who cling tightly to the old ways and all of the destruction that comes with them. The Kentari who attacked you were traditionalist soldiers. They see you, and especially the Lucari, as a threat to their existence. Well, I am a warrior race, of, after all. But what danger do I pose to you if I'm not trying to attack you? Where's the honor in that? It's simple. Your kind are well-armed aliens from an advanced culture. To the Trads, you're hostile invaders. And the Lucari? Dangerous anarchists from our distant past, long thought exiled, now returned. And more dangerous than ever. The troubling part is they may be right about all of you. Hmm. Such xenophobia is unwarranted, Minister. Minister Pentaro is in charge of planetary security. 
It's his job to evaluate all potential threats, foreign and domestic. <laughs> the idea of working with aliens, with Lucari, will be controversial. That said, our situation is deteriorating. I'm willing to open a dialogue with outside parties. Such a dialogue will be monitored, however, in the interest of planetary security. Your suspicion is misplaced, Minister. We had nothing to do with all this. What is that? What we think You're not wrong, wearing? Captain. And we realize the need to do something about it. The privileged few are safe above the pollution, but they live on borrowed time. Ecosystems across the planet are failing. We can no longer afford to... Prime Minister, do you think it's prudent to discuss such matters with these outsiders? Oh, oh, I was supposed to say something, sorry. Go to riddle it! Curious. One band of aliens arrives with words of peace, while another arrives bearing the swords of war. How convenient. Coincidence? Or a cunning ruse to weaken our defenses and lower our guard? Um... The T's and Kethy are not our allies, as you'll soon see. I believe you. Our moon is home to our agricultural sites and thousands of Kentari workers. Your help protecting it will be welcomed by my government. The sooner you can begin, the better. Okay. Beam me up. How I'm taking a scene. All hands, battle stations, red alert. Their ships might build some trust with the Qatari. Today is a good day to die, Kopla. Prepare our ramming speed. Full impulse. That was so premature. Fight well. We're glad you're with us. Flame pulse. I'm reading concentrations of the crystals targeted by the Zenkethi on the Kentari moon, along with numerous Zenkethi life signs and several protomatter signals. We'd better hurry. They may be preparing to detonate more bombs. Agreed. Let's get to the moon and stop the Zenkethi. <coughs> and stop those bombs now. Oh, no, not the Genesis weapon. Rock I hope your people know how to deal with these bombs, Lucari. Not really. If this is some kind of trick, you won't live to regret it. Increase power to weapons! Hit it with everything you've got! And Kevin's shields are weakest in the front, but watch out for the weapon set. Whoops. There are frigates, I guess, with gunfire at will. Oh well. Polymorphic probe, temple threading. Attack. 
fighting, no matter what. Torpedo spread. Fire well. They didn't do anything wrong. Except for grow and stash. Lone wolf. Tycan's Rift. We're too late. They're running away. <laughs> Ooh, Genesis. That looks mad. sort of intense energy detonation on the moon. We're reading zero life signs there. No one. They're all gone. What did they do to us? What has happened? It's a proto-matter bomb. It eradicates all organic matter. I'm sorry. All is not lost, Minister. While we can't bring back the Kentari who were killed, we can help you restore your moon's food production capabilities in short order. Well, that sounds a bit crazy. A likely story. For all we know, this is the precursor to invasion. These aliens have destroyed our food and weakened our military, Prime Minister. They mean to conquer us. <clears throat> we could actually save your planet by doing that protomatic uh, Genesis weapon on your main homeworld, and that would also fix the pollution problem that you've caused. But anyway. Calm yourself, Pentara, <laughs> and remember who is Prime Minister here. Captain Kumarke, I accept your proposal. Provided there's full oversight from the Ministry of Defense at every stage of the operation. You'll understand our need for such security measures, I'm sure. Mm-hmm. I won't let you down, Prime Minister. Have your observation team meet mine on the moon at these coordinates. We'll begin as soon as we're able. We'll be on Overwatch in case and Kathy return. Impulse. Protomatter emitters are in place. The matrix is stable and primed for effect. Let me know when you want me to initiate the restoration procedure. The matrix, huh? Make it so. Protomatter matrix is stable. We're ready to begin. Initiating primary restoration sequence now. Something is wrong. Everything just stopped. Why? I checked the settings myself. That moon should be covered with crops by now. I could use some assistance down there. Please join me at the worksite. <laughs> okay. Beam us down. Engage. Energize. Are we team to transport a room one? Or two or three or something. 
loading patching files. That's weird. Why does it have to patch again? It must have been an update bug right. fix. Let's begin by configuring the flow regulators at each of the transmission arrays. I'll observe the flow rates while you make the adjustments. Right, whatever. Hmm. Hmm? made adjustments to the transmitters that could cause a detonation similar to a protomatter bomb. But whoever did it wasn't familiar with Lucari tech. We have safeguards to prevent such a thing, so instead of blowing up, it just didn't work. I hate to say it, but I believe one of the Kentari observers made those adjustments. Yep. This part just doesn't make any sense. Why is there buildings here after a Genesis weapon protomatter explosion? Wouldn't everything on the planet be just completely destroyed, including the buildings and infrastructure? What are these things that we just adjusted? Did she launch them? Are they part of the Genesis weapon? Okay. Kentori, cover me while I secure the protomatter. I have to say, I think the developers have lost the plot lately. But obviously, everybody thinks that. I'm taking fire here. Help! This has been the worst season release that since I started playing. That's for sure. Least impressive. Upset the most amount of people. <sighs> Sorry about that chat window. Where are they coming from this time? Over Cover me while I secure the protomatter! They just don't know when to quit, oh, do they? Protomatter secured. We're safe. That's it, been back to ship. Those were traditionalists. I suspect one of their operatives was behind the sabotage here as well. I've locked out access to everyone but you and me. We can make things right without any interference once we return to our ships. Beam up. Oh, my eyes are glowing green. I still haven't fixed that bug. Of course not. All they want to do is introduce new bugs. All systems are online. We're ready to go. Initiating restoration process now. Kill. It went backwards from where the direction it came last time. Protomatter matrix deployed. Everything's in the green. We did it.
It worked. Our sensors are showing a stable protomatter matrix in the formation of crops at all production sites. We owe you a profound debt of gratitude. Thank you. Yep, sure. Their actions have shamed us all, but they will not get away with it, I assure you. Minister Pentaro is looking into it personally. He has sent some ships to escort you back to New Kentar. No, uh, there's more baddies. Alien vessels! Surrender or be destroyed! Why is she? This madness has gone on long enough. Forced my hand. You and your pathetic Lucari bootlicker. It's time to end this. I will make New Kentar safe once more. Safe from you and the rest of the alien filth in the galaxy. Yeah, sure, whatever. You reckon. Toothless Tiger. Exile was too good for the Lucari. We should have wiped you out. I'm not supposed to be scared of you, am I? Not everyone in the Defense Force is loyal to Pentaro. Today is a good day to kill pathetic enemies. No, I should have used that on the bigger one. I've suspected Pentaro was a traditionalist for some time, but I thought he placed the people before his personal beliefs. I was wrong. His madness nearly killed us all. And for what? Pride, hate, and fear. I wish to formally big. apologize and thank all of you in person. Under the circumstances, we should meet on one of your vessels. The Rescava, if you're agreeable. Yep, let's go to the UFO. Beam is there now. This is a momentous occasion. I'm glad you're here to share it with us. Diplomacy is part of a captain's job, as you know. I hope I'm up for the challenge. Welcome to the Rescava, Prime Minister. I look forward to working together. Thank you, Captain. Most kind of you, after all that's happened. We almost lost everything today. Instead, we can begin to build a better future, thanks to you. There will be resistance from people like Pentaro, but we must continue to look ahead. To that end, we hope to work together with you and your allies. I'm happy to hear it. Pentari and Lucari have lived apart far too long. We've recently begun to explore beyond our world. Perhaps we can do so together. Perhaps. We've got a lot of work to do before then, however. Indeed we do. Well then, let's get started, shall we? That's all, folks. Well, not quite. It's hail. KDF. After all this time, the Kentari are here, alive. I can hardly believe it. This will be quite the revelation back home. Many Lucari do not look fondly upon the great Exodus or the Kentari who forced it upon us. Still, we may be on a path to reunification, one that lets us rebuild what was lost with the Kentari. I truly hope so. Right. Take the shield first. So obviously you've got to repeat the mission three times to get the full ground set. Alright, uh, for the review part of this I would give that mission a uh, minus 10 out of 10. 
Oh look, this person should join my fleet. Oh yes. Uh sorry, um Look, weekly rewards, week three, yeah. Enhanced universal tech upgrade, don't need specialization points, thank you very much. Oh look, they joined my fleet. Alright, well thanks for watching this video from the Team of Borg Show brought to you by Unal Matrix 01. Hope you enjoyed this video. Please stay tuned for more and stuff. Um Yeah, I will gotta still do the rest of the uh, new season content stuff. Um War Game new PvE Q. Well, I'll just give you a little hint. I really don't like it. It sucks they actually have made us lose heaps of missions. Like, hey, how do I just view all advanced queues? Oh, I can't. How do I view cooldowns? Oh, they've added that button now. That button wasn't there before. It's still missing features. Um, where is Federation Fleet Alert? Have they fixed that? Because I wasn't there for the past couple of weeks. Oh, I wouldn't be on a Klingon anyway. KDF Fleet Alert. Fleet Arcs. Klingon fleet alert. Okay, it's there. I don't know what's going on. Just kind of sick of it. Um, sick of them making the game go backwards. You know, they introduce one new feature, make two other features not work properly anymore. And it's what's been happening from day one. And it's just getting worse. It's like any developers who did know what they were doing seem to have left working for this game and now it's just the ones that are hopeless. Uh, I know that's it. I'm starting to sound like that other guy. Um, yeah. Maybe it's time for me to find a new game to play. Or just stop playing games. I don't know. So yeah, please thumbs down this video. No, I'll probably actually disable thumbs down. I'm sick of all you bastards. Alright. Kapla.